Hi everybody. I am super excited to be back with you guys. I am going to really quickly send this over to my VIP group. If you are not a designer and you would love to be in a VIP group, please comment VIP below and I'll get you over there. Today we are going to do a really cool design. This is low in stock. Um, so if you are wanting this, you guys are going to want to grab it. All right. If you are catching this live, you'll see the live rectangle at the top. If you are catching this on a replay, just go ahead and put hashtag replay. And let's get started. I'm super excited. So I got a bunch of new products today, which I was really super excited about. And when I found out that this birdhouse kit was low in stock, I thought, oh no, <laughs> I want to demo this with you guys. So let's do that before they are sold out. They are low in stock. I'm not sure if they are going to restock guys. So if you want them, you're going to want to grab them. Great thing is, is this is reusable. This is basically the same as our board and base. It's the same material. Um, one of our new amazing people at Chalk um, started designing this when she came on board. And I am so excited for this. Um, and it it is a kit. So it comes with your instructions. It tells you everything that you need. Of course, you're always going to want a fuzzing cloth. But if you already have these things, you don't have to worry about it. Right? So it comes with your Chalk Made Birdhouse for um, the transfer design for them. Paste Singles Camel Eggshell Blue Shimmer Melon Sunny Side. It comes with mini squeegee, four color trays, one base um, piece, two side wall pieces, a wall or back wall piece, and one front wall piece, two roof pieces, and one peg. This is for decoration purposes only. I wanna make that abundantly clear right now, okay? You don't want to put this outside. It's going to get destroyed. We don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to suggest that everybody does, if you guys want one of these, is you snag them and see them on, a, on your shelf. They're super cute, right? Now, I am not going to use the colors that come with this kit. Why? Because I want this to be spring. And then I'm going to redo this for all my seasons, okay? So we're going to use the On Vogue colors. We're going to use the shimmer violet we're going to use shimmer flamingo we are going to use our um, wild lime we're going to use eggshell blue which does come with it and we're going to use peach cobbler but to add in we are going to use black velvet and we are going to use the color of the month which is duchess i am so excited to get this going with you guys so i'm going to sit all these off to the side we are going to get going okay so, of course, you can just get this kit. You don't have to buy all the extra things. But there will be a cart link in there to get everything that you want. Now, here is the cute transfer. This has got the cutest little bumblebee on it. I'm in love with this little bee. He's super cute. Let me show you guys. See how cute that little bee is. So, we are going to get started we're going to open this up. Let me grab some craft scissors so we can open this. So there's no need to wax this because this is our boutique surface, which means it's like our um, board and base surface. It is reusable, repurposable, all of the things, right? And they come in pieces. Why? So you can chalk them and not have to... Hold on, guys. And not have to, um, I don't know what's going on there. Um, well, I got to figure this all out. Not have to have it all together when you chalk it. So we're doing this together, okay? We're going to just do this all together. So these are the cute little, cute little roof pieces. This is so exciting. And of course, like I said, it comes apart so you can redo it over and over and over again. I am actually going to redo this one. Like I said, for the seasons. So that is going to be lots of fun. 
As always, we keep our packaging in our backer sheet because these are reusable, age 12 times. Sometimes more, depending on how well you take care of them, but chalk always guarantees age 12 uses, right? If you have an issue, you can do a fix it fast form and they will fix it. It is awesome. So this piece would be for the roof. Now you could leave it without the, doing the shingles if you didn't want to, or you could grab one of our other patterns and do that as well. If that's something that you would rather do, you totally can do this and make this unique to you in your decor. That's why I'm doing the spring colors because right now my house is decorated for spring. So I want to make sure that it's staying within that color combination. And let's get started. Okay. So as always, we write on our backer sheets. I always write on my backer sheet. It's just something that I do and I love to do it. So that's why I do it. Okay. We're going to start with the front piece first. And I actually like the little dots. I really do. I like the dots. So that's, and one is just the dots. And one is the dots. Um, it's, you know, it's different. Both of them are different. So we're going to do that. Let me really quickly. So this one would just be plain dots. This one would be the color. Hmm, guys, maybe we'll do this one first. Let's do this one. Dots number one. I'm gonna set this. And of course, we're going to fuzz. We're going to do all of that. I am going to move you guys down real quick. Let me get these moved out of the way for just a second while I try and clean up my chalk table. Today I'm just a hot mess, guys. A hot mess. But that's all good because we can chalk and it's a hot mess, right? Oh, it's been a day. It's been a day. So the more silk screen we have, the less um, fuzzing we have to do. So, hold on, let me double check. Okay, all right. So there's a couple different ways we can put this transfer on. We can go this way and lay it down, which is just ever so slightly bigger, which is fine. Or you can flip it over and stick it on there like that. We're gonna do it this way. I don't want the little polka dots being all, hold on a second, I got something on my silk strain there. It's like a piece of fuzz. We obviously don't want that there. So let's push this down. Okay, so because it is kind of like introverted, it is gonna be a little bit harder to stick down. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of hold it down. We're gonna start with our eggshell blue because it's my favorite color. Blue is my favorite color. And I love this color. Now you could, the reason why we are just going to do this and not like paint it is because this is reusable now however if you were painting it with chalk paste you could scrape that off and redo that it wouldn't be hard it wouldn't be hard to do at all now the paste is holding this in place so it's going to be a lot easier to chalk said when there's more silk screen than there is transfer it's going to take a little bit more paste and it's going to take a little bit more finagling because there's not as much to hold down to chalk so we have to keep that in mind there's a little spot right there and it's driving me crazy okay so now we're going to pull this up Oh, 
Oh my goodness, so cute and very much like spring, I'm just saying. I love this color. This is one of my favorites of the envelope colors that we got was the eggshell blue. Love it. And our cute little bird cutouts would be super adorable with this. Just kind of them sitting there, right there with it. And I just did those um, with our En Vogue colors, so there is that. So you guys can see how cute, right? And then the little peg would go right there. Oh, hold on, guys. It might go the other way because it looks like it's neat. It is. It's narrower on that side. Okay. So we're going to set this off to the side and let it dry. Sit over here. I mean, it is kind of dry. but Okay. So the back side, which is this one. We are going to do the other dots. We're going to do these ones, okay? And we are going to do them in wild lime because I want the back side to pop as well. Now, you could do this however you want. You could do this in a million different ways. Just keep that in mind too, guys. Just because I, I'm doing something does not mean you have to do it. It's not a rule. It is not a law. I want you guys to use this as kind of like a recipe guide and make it unique to you in your home or a gift for somebody. I don't want anyone being like, oh, well, that's how she did it and that's how I have to do it because that's not, that's not how it is. I promise you that. I want you to make it unique and amazing and whatever you want it to be. You can use a couple of our different transfers even to add something more unique to this design as well. Okay. And this is ever so slightly bigger, so just keep that in mind. It's gonna go down just ever so slightly with this one because one all the way down at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm happy with that. So we're going to use wild lime. I stirred all these up. So just FYI. So if you're asking, I did stir these all up. I always stir my paste before I go live or while I'm live because they're like paint. You want to stir them and get them mixed in. You don't want them drying up or, you know, getting like crusty or not the right consistency. And you'd be stuck with a weird project because it won't spread right. Grab the little peg here and pull. So this is, like I said, this is going to be unique to me. I don't know if you guys can see the color, that wild lime. I'm trying to look at my iPad to see if you can see it really well. Hi, Tina. I am in love with this bird kit. It's so cute. So cute. Thank 
you. All right, we're gonna sit this off to the side. We're gonna grab one of the end pieces. Now I'm trying to think here. I think one of these is the floor, and I wanna say it's this one. I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Like I am not good with. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm assuming. Okay, this is a side. So this one is a side as well. Okay, this is the bottom. Okay. See? Yeah. It's one of those days, right? Okay. So we have these two sides. And of course, we're going to do them. So this one could go anywhere. Like, it can go on here and just be a side piece like this which would be fine and then the other side could be another color so we're going to do our shimmer um vel our violets and we are going to do shimmer flamingo hot mess we're going to do hot mess on this one side and then the other side we are going to do in our peach cobbler and then the roof um, maybe we'll do hot mess let's think here these two like our color of the month and our peach cobbler and then or we can do all four of them I think all four of them would be really cool because then they're gonna match on both sides because I know my OCD is probably gonna go a little stir crazy and it's gonna be like uh, yeah that's not matching and scrape that off and redo that so <laughs> so that would be a problem right let's see Ooh. Let's go flowers Number two, I'm naming these ones two and one. Um, flowers number one. Let's do hot mess. I think hot mess would be a lot of fun. So we are going to start with this one first. Of course, we are going to fuzz. I like to just kind of do things sometimes on a whim I like to change it up a little bit and not always go exactly how um, the design shows now if you're not one of those people that is fine don't be make it unique we could use both of those we could grab a farmhouse pattern we could grab you know we have so many patterns that we could do that so we're just going to Sit this on here. I'm just gonna go like this with it. We're gonna do hot mass. Which, if you guys have never seen hot mass, which three of these are glitter, there are shimmers, but it's okay. Okay. Because these are not glitter that's gonna stick to your skin forever in a day, right? So what we do with hot mass is we Take a stir stick, we stick it in. We just dip it in here. Add these colors in however we want. And yes, you can mix shimmers with paste, regular paste, just FYI. So don't feel like you can't, cause you can. I actually had somebody ask me that. Um, I think it was last New Year's and I said absolutely absolutely let's grab a squeegee here all right so we're just gonna pull all that through that silk screen covering the design and of course you're not gonna want to put any of that back in the jar so we're just gonna clean that right off and we'll use it for the next for the next group and there is that hot mess pretty pretty I'm in love with it it's got all my colors that I want <laughs> yeah me too I like changing things up I like no, I'm not saying these kits aren't amazing because they absolutely are. And Chalk does what's on trend and it's just super, super cool. But I like to make things unique 
to my home and my decor style and so to me I like it you know hot mess myself that's just my you know that's one of my favorite ways to actually chalk is hot mess I like the look of it I like that it's never going to be exact I like that um, no matter how many times I do it the result is just amazing I love making things look camouflaged too with the hot mess method ombre effect is another awesome way to do it where you can just take two or more and blend them together super cool also but I just want to change it up and make it cool and unique to my design now some people are like no absolutely not I don't want that don't even put that in my head <laughs> and that is fine that is fine that's the beautiful thing about chalk is you can make it unique to you so again we're just going to do this again putting the colors in dabbing if you want more blue or you want more purple of course do that the color of the month is going to be gone before you know it that is called duchess it is a unique color only for the month of april and while supplies last so keep that in mind you can unlock the option to buy if you place an order of 75 or more and the paste jar is only 10 bucks i think or 11 might be 11 because all of our jars are the, like the same price which is just awesome and i every month i love the color of the month um the first month was february and that was dream car and then this month was um or last month was academia which was like a greenish blue and then the my guys i'm gonna put those in my tray and then um this month is duchess so these are not made like our other paste where they're not made like in bulk so just keep that in mind as well i'm just gonna close those up all right let's pull this pulling it i'm gonna grab this little peg right here and there's another hot mess and you guys can see how different they look from each other just want to make sure my hands are clean i'm gonna really quickly dry this and we're gonna stick it together i'm not gonna chalk on the floor of the little birdhouse but you could if you wanted to totally could you can do so many things I know I love the pops of color and that's what I love about this too is that it's reusable so if I'm like okay I'm over the pops of color I just want one solid color I can scrape this off and redo it which to me is just amazing because most of our kits are not reusable the surface isn't reusable the transfers are but the surface is not so that to me is like a no-brainer right all right so I'm gonna stick this in here if you can get it in here okay there we go and they are a little tight which is good right we want it to be a little tight let's try and push this on and there is a little house for right now and like look how cute is that right and it's ready for spring and now we're going to do the roof pieces. Oh, the floor. We want to do the floor. Oh my goodness, guys. I probably should have done the floor first. Seems how... Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so silly. So silly. And it, like I said, it's tight. But it's not going to break, so... Just use a little bit of your elbow grease. I'm going to pull this one off here. So it's kind of like completely off there. There we go. Just stuck my finger. 
right in paste that was just ever so slightly wet. That's okay. It's all good. <laughs> Washes right off. And this would be a fun project for a little kid. And if they wanted to make something for their grandma for Mother's Day or for a mom for Mother's Day, that would be really cool as well. All right. This is our um, roof pattern. And so we're going to do that in black velvet. Call me cliche, but I want that to be, um, to look like a roof. And I know I say, I'm actually saying it different than I normally say. I call it a roof normally. That's what I call it. And my family makes fun of me for sure. <laughs> They're like, it's not a roof, it's a roof. And I'm like, Ugh. so it takes me a little bit sometimes to realize that I'm saying it like that, but I'm, that's how my family has always said it. So that's how I was raised to say it. And I'm from Michigan, so we say it a little bit different up there. All right. So we can go, and it fits just in, it's a little bit wider. So it's super easy to line up. Plus our transfers are now pretty see-through. So you can line it up really easily. And then we're going to use our black velvet. Let's try and put this little squeegee here. Now you can make it brown or you can make it any color you want. You could do the normal um, or the colors that we used here. You can use the colors that come with it. However, like I said, I will put a cart link in and you guys can pick and choose what you want. But this is in low stock. I found that out just before it got here and I just panicked I was like oh no 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 I want to demo that for my people I want to demo it I don't know if they're going to restock it that I have not heard word on some things we are some things we aren't so if you see something and you want it you're going to want to grab it I did get word that a couple of our chalkable shapes are going to restock, but not till mid-May. We also have a product, another product launch on the 20th with the rest of our Summer Brations designs that didn't come in while um, these ones did. So, okay, so see that? silk screen is still see-through right so I'm gonna use it real quick just a second I'm gonna dry this because I just don't want it to get messed up and then we're gonna lay it down over this other one now if you really wanted to you could actually rinse it completely off wash it with your board eraser a little bit of water your fuzzing cloth however you want to do it I'm just gonna do it really quick and sit this off to the side and then we're gonna grab this we're gonna sit it back down and lay it right where we want it now I'm gonna push it down and of course I'm gonna get paste on my hands but that's okay like I said it's washable I can totally do that okay so I'm gonna go back over top Pushing through that silk screen. If you've never tried chalk before, guys, I'm going to tell you it is so easy to do it. If you can butter bread, you can do this. If you're not crafty, you can be with chalk. Okay, I've always done crafts with my mom growing up. We always did things like making necklaces or we would take um, willow, um, you know, branches that were, you know, the really thin ones and flexible ones. And we would make wreaths and do all that kind of stuff. And so when someone's like, oh, are you crafty? And I was always like, no, not really. I mean, I did that kind of stuff. But this is completely different. And then they're like, give it a go, you know, try it. And I never had even tried a pro the product before I joined. And I'm so, so excited and glad that I did this because it has been amazing. 
Okay, so I'm going to wash my hands off because I have paste all over me. Again, hot mess today. Hot mess. Not just the method, but myself. And we are going to dry, 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 dry. I'm going to bring the other piece over here and we're just going to dry it all. Let's move these out of the way. But when you're crafting, you do make a mess. When you do art, you make a mess. So it's all good because it cleans up really easily. So don't feel like, oh no, you know, I got chalk paste. Look, you can see it. It's on my table. I do have a silicone mat that I lay down on my table now. I mean, my other one was the, um, the self-healing mat, but I changed it up. But it cleans up really, really easy. That's what I love about it. So little kids, adults. I mean, let's be honest. We make messes too. It's never going to turn out exactly perfect either. And that's all good too. Okay, so now I'm going to move you guys up so you guys can see me putting this on. Okay, so we have... A cute little house. How cute is this? It's so cute. And I'm going to put it down if I can get it. Oh, it's not even in there. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to eyeball it here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. It's not wanting to go. I don't know why. Oh, this peg is just ever so slightly. There we go. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Okay, let me wash my hands. Okay. And like I said, I have the little bird cutouts that I just recently made. Oh, they're yeah, they are. They are behind me. Let me grab those real quick so you guys can see. I mean, they are bigger than the birdhouse. Don't get me wrong. But they are the colors that we used here. We have this one. And we have the little one. Right? So they're colors that go right along with this birdhouse. Super cool. And I'm in love with it. Super, super cute. I'm going to post the picture of this staged um where it's gonna sit in my living room and you guys have a fabulous day thank you tina and if you have any questions of course let me know i am more than happy to help and i will post the link on how to get this kit and all the extras that we used here today you can always take things out or add things in however you want to do that and please round up with lots of love at checkout because every penny helps all right guys have a fabulous day i'll see you all here tomorrow at 6 30 for another awesome chocolate tour design all right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.